I thought Mr. Canella going down to D.C. to interview Mr. Kotz, the Inspector General of the uh, SEC, was very impressive. He asked some very pertinent questions. And to be honest with you, some of the answers were a bit disturbing. I don't think the SEC have uh, retirees and seniors' uh, interests at best heart, and they have no ability to enforce anything. When Mr. Canella interviewed Mr. Kotz and they showed us the video, um, it was incredible to find out that the SEC feels like it can't police the securities industry because it doesn't have the funding or the manpower and and these people are kind of run amok and uh, the inmates are running the prison. When he went to see the SEC and the Inspector General it's an excellent thing to put it out where the media should have put it out and there should be more interviews and more openness and I think that the TVs and the networks and the newspapers should put congressmen in the SEC and all the agencies on the hot seat for not doing the job that they were appointed or elected to do. When I heard the interviews, it blew my mind that he would even entertain the thought of, of, of interviewing someone at that high level of government. And I really, on, on the one hand, was a little ticked because you know, that interview really should have been handled by a Lou Dobbs or, or someone with you know, far greater journalistic media experience and press. But then at the other hand, I said, you know, who are the advocates left in the industry that are advocating for the consumer, advocating for the retirement, uh, people you know, facing retirement? Who, who are the advocates? Um, and many, many, many in our industry are not advocating anything. They're just ostriches with their heads in the sand. I thought Mr. Canella's interview with the SEC uh, Inspector General what, a, exhibited a boldness, a, you know, just a desire to get the truth out there and a fearlessness that most people don't have when speaking directly to um, the person who's there supposed to be the advocate of the investors. And yet he kind of just said it like it was and he puts the truth out there and doesn't care what the uh, results of that are. He wants, he wants the investors to know the truth.